the adults, definitely you can see. They're good, big-sized organisms, you know, about a half a centimeter long. They're brown in color. After they've had their first meal, they get their color. Once they've hatched out as a newly a new nymph out of an egg, it's, it's clear. You won't be able to see it. They come out at night, um, and that's another problem because we don't, you know, it's not like they're crawling around on the mattress or on the furniture in the day. And this is an interesting um, point at the end. We call we use the scientific word as obligatory blood feeders. What that means is that's the only thing they eat. So they're not going to eat hair or skin. They just eat blood. And if they don't have blood, they're not going to live. Now, unfortunately, in cool conditions like 65, 70, they can go almost a year without a blood meal. They're not brought in on possums or squirrels or rats. They're brought in on us. Now, when I say us, I don't mean our bodies. I said they like living at 65 degrees. We're much too hot for that. They are brought in on suitcases and furniture and backpacks and briefcase, those type of things. You don't see, when I see reports saying the kids came to school with bed bugs on them, that's very odd. It may be in their backpack, but you don't have bed bugs stuck on someone's body like you might find a tick or lice or things of that sort.